So how far away are we as a society in making this transition to self-driving vehicles? Well, the future's here now. Already at, uh, at cities around the country, there are fleets of these self-driving cars that are being tested right there, right on the streets with, with motorists that are, that are going to work, going to see their families, going to get a cup of coffee, whatever they're driving for. These cars are already on the road now. Um, and so far the technology has been very promising based on everything that we've seen. Um, but the future's here now. It's only going to be a matter of probably years, not decades, but just a few years until we start seeing more and more of a rollout of these kinds of vehicles. So what are some of the ethical considerations, that's right, ethical considerations that the computer in a self-driving car may be forced to make? Uh, well, there's a famous ethical problem or dilemma uh, that's discussed in, in philosophy uh, courses around the country. Some refer to it as the trolley dilemma. And you have, that's when you have the trolley operator standing next to the tracks. The trolley's coming down the track and there are five people strapped to the railroad track that unless he pulls the lever, they're all going to die. Well, the trolley operator, in making that decision, if he pulls the lever, there's one person that if he diverts the trolley away from the five that's strapped to the track that will certainly be killed if he pulls the lever. So it's not an easy uh, ethical dilemma. And these are some of the situations that it's, it's strange to think about this, but that are going to have to be in some way programmed into a computer by human beings to tell the computer what to do under situations like that. Um, and these are some ethical considerations as this technology develops that manufacturers are going to have to, to take into account. Some examples of how self-driving cars or autonomous vehicles uh, will have to make decisions are, for example, um, if someone is sitting in an autonomous car and a, the autonomous car in front of it stops suddenly because of a deer in the road, do, does the autonomous car crash into the car in front of it or swerve into the wall, which might cause death to the passenger? How are these decisions going to be made? What factors are going to be programmed into these kinds of vehicles? Um, do you, does the car swerve for a deer in the road and crash into a ditch? Or does the car run over the deer in the road and potentially injure uh, the passenger and kill the deer? How are these decisions going to be made? So there, there are a lot of questions uh, right now uh, and probably a short shortage of answers on a lot of these issues with self-driving cars.